Not too far away is Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro continuing our team coverage. Yeah, and he's in Southbury this morning. Angelo, you've seen a little bit of everything from uh, kitchen cookware just yeah. floating around and uh, vehicles stalled out, a tow truck stuck on the side of the road. How are things shaping up? Yeah, we've seen just about everything in this area, still by North Main Street. And it's pretty much the same case. We've seen crews out and about around the clock, really, since last night trying to get things cleaned up. But things still looking pretty terrible at this hour. So right here, flooding is still a concern. You can see some of those crews driving by trying to get all this mess cleaned up. But at this intersection by the commons, I mean, floodwaters are still swallowing this area. On top of that, we've got this mess, as we were talking about, of debris. I don't know what this is. Maybe a car part. Looks like it was from a bin that was broken apart. We've got logs, sticks, cones. We saw a frying pan in the mix as well. So just an absolute mess. Right here is the brook, presumably where a lot of this flooding is coming from. You can see how high that is coming over the guardrail right there. And then next to that, things are looking better this morning, but this goes to show just how bad things were yesterday. A town employee coming by telling us that that red vehicle was stuck in the floodwaters. That's when the tow truck came out trying to get it out, and that's when a surge of water came by. And now both of these cars, they're stuck in the water. Got to wait for this to go down before we deal with that. This was the scene. Take a look yesterday when we saw that significant, significant flooding. You think this is bad. Take a look at this. But in the middle of this, just incredible acts of humanity. This was the scene as a rescue happened. A man and his dog stuck in a car. And that's when a Good Samaritan rushed over, rushed right into the waters to get them both out. Take a listen to what that Good Samaritan told us about what happened here. The car seemed like it was kind of rapidly sinking. Um, and Ultimately, uh, he, he was able to shout at me that he had a prosthetic. And that's when I kind of realized that uh, this needs to happen right now. Like, this cannot wait. We can't do this, you know, a, a structured way. And so I just threw the rope back and I kind of <laughs> had to wade slash swim over to his car because the water was um, at my chest to almost shoulders height. Just an incredible, incredible rescue. Luckily, everybody is okay. We're really fortunate that worked out. But the reality of the storm just on full display all over the place, right here, the Shell gas station workers and the owner out this morning getting this cleaned up. And another issue can tell around there is all this mud that we're dealing with. Take a look by my shoes. It is several inches high and just really, really messy. You get stuck walking in this. We've seen cars have trouble getting through this as well. So that's another heads up as you head out the door. The first electman just telling people to stay home until all of this is cleaned up, which could take hours and hours, maybe days, depending on how bad some of this stuff is. We're live in Southbury this morning. I'm Angelo Bavar, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.